That's Wonderful. Right. Some of those are are literally dropped One by parachute. One area in the jungle areas, over 35,000 gorillas from both sides, military. One area, region alone, have now come to know Jesus Christ. They're part of God's kingdom. And that's what TV is about. That's what's radio about, to get the message out where Jesus' message is being heralded to those who need to hear about Christ. And God is transforming Colombia, and we're excited. Even the president of Colombia has one of these little two-band radios. One frequency is for uh, doing evangelism. When they come to know the Lord, they press the other frequency, and that gives them discipleship, teaching, and growing. Wow. And we put a new station just recently. It's now reaching over four and a quarter million people, a new station going in with the radios being given out. Isn't God good? This is so Hallelujah. Hey? And you're in there. Both feet, Tim, you're just back from Albania. Albania, yeah. One of the things that I really love about the Galcom ministry is it's, it's actually modeled the same way that the Conway School of Broadcasting here at Crossroads was, where we don't go in and, and proclaim the, you know, we don't buy things. Galcom doesn't own radio stations. We equip local pastors and missionaries with the tools because they know the language, they know the culture, they know how best to communicate the gospel in their context. So we give them the tools. In Colombia, we gave them the, the tools with the radios. In Albania, we're helping a young man there uh, to upgrade his radio station. Uh, I want to introduce you to some friends. I have some pictures oh, here. Good. This is Tani and F.T. Bakaru. And now Tani's got a great story. His father, when, when uh, the communist dictatorship fell in Albania in the early 90s, YWAM went in and his father became a Christian and was one of the first Albanian-born pastors, started radio station Radio Emmanuel, reaching throughout the city of Korcha. Great ministry, but he's died of a sudden heart attack mm. when Tani was just 18 years old. So Tani took over the reins of this ministry and has been carrying it himself. Um, this is his wife, Eft, who helps out there as well. They're running on a shoestring. Uh, their budget is only about $50,000 a year. You can, if you go to the next slide, there's a picture of where their transmitter is. Now, if you know radio technology, this is not a good setup. You need some air, you need some space, you've got to keep the equipment cool. This is an old elementary public school desk here. It looks like a um, closet. Yeah. It's very it is a closet. Tiny. Um, and then if you go to the next slide, this is, this is their studio. This is it. Uh, this mm -hmm. is all of their people, their producers, editing their programs. Wow, and how many people are they reaching? They are reaching, broadcast. well, the, the nation of Albania is about just over 3 million, and they're reaching over half the country, but they're reaching into Macedonia, into Greece, mm -hmm. and all the ethnic Albanians in that area. So it's an amazing, amazing ministry they have. And the thing with Albania, 50 years, uh, officially an atheist country. No talk about God, no religion at all. When the communism fell, they found that, that the traditional... Um, religion was, was a Muslim religion. And so, but the people are at the point where they don't want anything. They don't want the Muslims, they don't want the Christians, they're fine. And so it's very difficult. In fact, when we were handing out radios, I had a, a gentleman refuse a radio. And Tani says, oh, he's an old communist, he doesn't trust anybody. And so there's a real, um, real stone heart real of the people. Barrier. There, a barrier there Spiritual that needs barrier. to, yeah. And so this ministry is so vital. People need to hear the hope of Jesus Christ. They need to hear that there's something more to their life than just what the temporal, what is now. And they don't pay for the radio. The radio is a gift. Right. We, we raise all of our support in North America, and we go over and we equip Tani and his team at Radio Emanuel. We help them with the, setting up this, the station, and we give them the radios to distribute. Uh, so when I went over, uh, I think there's some pictures there. This is one of our engineers, Ron Marlin, teaching a young engineer named uh, Beso. Uh, they're grounding the, the tower here, so if lightning strikes, it doesn't ruin the equipment. So he's teaching them there. There I am, at, you know, getting my hands a little bit dirty. Talk about hands on. You know, it's funny, all the years I directed Circle Square, I always had to admit, I really didn't know how to ride a horse. And here I am doing radio ministry. And I don't know much about radio ministry, but uh, here I am learning a little bit more about it. One of the things they do is they get out in the villages and they ask the people what their concerns are. Do you have a question? And so we went out, this is Daniela, one of the workers there. We went out and handing out radios, asking them about health questions they had, spiritual questions they had. Um, and what they'll do is they'll collect them all, come back and ask a local pastor, and they'll address the concerns. So they call it the village voice. And there's a real connection. Then they do a specific Albanian news program with a Christian focus. And here's Michael preparing the news program for the day. Uh, he's a volunteer. There's Beso, again, who's the technician on air with Tani's little sister, Christiana, doing the youth program. So they do everything they can. I got a chance to go on air too and share a little bit about what Galcom is doing uh, and to encourage everyone there. And here's Daniela after the, the village voice program. Now this is an important slide. Uh, we want to reach all of Albania with the gospel, with a radio signal so everyone can hear. And this is Cervanaki Mountain, or Cervanaki Mountain, depending on where you, who you speak to. Mm -hmm. And we're standing on top of an old military bunker. We want to put up a tower here with an, with an antenna system that will reach all of South Albania. It will reach every other mountaintop. Albania is rolling hills, mountains and valleys, and it's tough to get a radio signal into all these little pockets. And we want to position radio. that in the right spot. We gotta, exactly. We've got to put mm -hmm. it right in the right spot. And this is the spot. 
And we have a church in Hamilton that's already given about $5,000 towards the tower. And we want to raise the funds to help them because they got that little little studio, but that little studio and that little ministry there is going to be able to reach all of Albania. And you take teams of Canadians to go put those towers up. Yeah, we had a couple of you guys here from Hamilton, a guy that was a fireman and a, and a guy that works for a cable company here. They went and they did a bunch of work. We take teams down to Bolivia to distribute radios. We've taken people down to Columbia. Um, we have volunteers in our in our factory in Hamilton building the radios. You know that's so important. A real hands on ministry because uh, Michael Wright is uh, directing here, and I think it was some years ago. He was saying he came and captured seniors. Well, we building, have seniors building that work your radios. In, yeah, we have seniors come into our office and work and build radios. And we tell them, listen, this little radio you're working on today, we just sent some out to Greenland. We have the first Christian station within the Greenland just a little while ago. You were just there. I yeah. was up there a while ago and helped put the station. It had some blubber and a few things like that. Oh, fine. We sent this down among the Inca Indians down in Peru, down in those areas. And we saw many down there coming to know Christ. We've gone down into the Middle East, into Jordan and other places. Mm -hmm. And God is flooding the world. And the Lord is coming soon. And we've got to see many more. The only thing holding us back is we just need more radios and more uh, opportunities. We have something like over 20 some countries already opened up for new areas for Christian radio. We can go in. I don't know if you can answer this question, but the, the Bible says the gospel will be preached to the whole world That's and right. then the end will come. That's right. Uh, we've got a checklist of all the countries that we? We, we were 39 countries away. Mm. Uh, to getting radio in. And so this means the gospel every day, 24 hours, 24 hours a day in the local language. That's the real strength of this, that people will hear it and, and it's in context. They'll get the news. They'll have other reports, education for their children. And then the gospel comes on. It becomes more relevant to every part of their life. Do you know what's kept us going is that we have many people who get our newsletter and pray for yes, our ministry. Right. We have 12 to 1500. 20 years ago, my wife, Flory and I stood in our dining room on August the 15th, 20 years ago, we said, Lord, we use Psalm 37, 5, commit your way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he will bring it to pass. And he has now given us a worldwide ministry, every continent. He's blessed Harold Kent, and he's blessed Ken Crow and their wives and ourselves. And we have seen God, that only God could do what we're That's doing. True. And we see many more opportunities and we need people to continue to keep behind us in prayer and to see what God can do. And we have Sunday schools that help raise on projects. We have churches that say, come on in, we want to hear more about your ministry. Oh, I bet the kids see love we can this. Do. Amen. Oh, the kids love it. We and the book is full of, of stories. That's right, of that's right. Oh. Absolute miracles. People all over yeah. the oh, world. Absolute yeah. miracles of people um, hearing the gospel change lives. It's, it's amazing the lives that have been changed in prisons, in the most remote areas of the world, hearing the gospel for the first time. A lady who taught herself to read the Bible by listening to the scriptures on the radio um, and then started a church. You know, these stories are over and over again. It's almost unbelievable. 32,000 Muslims have come to Christ in a country in West Africa. Wow. The now you're the young Christian disciple radio. of this uh, wild man here. Yes. And he's had adventures, everything from being uh, at gunpoint to eating guinea pig uh, and with the yeah, Incas. And uh, You have to write your book. Well, I got to get around to doing one day, but I'm having fun getting the gospel out. Woo, we serve a great God with radios and radio stations and only the eternity will tell the end result. And our bottom line is to go into unreached areas that have never yet heard the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. That's our burden. And we need to have people pray with us as we continue to move ahead. Yeah. And if they want to come in and visit us, we're in Nebo Road here in Hamilton. They'd love to come and see what we're doing. We'd love to show them around. And more information or the book, where can we Galcom.org. www.galcom, G-A-L-C-O-M dot O-R-G. Are you having fun yet? Uh, this is great. <laughs> this is great. I, you know, when I left uh, Circle Square and the Crossroads Ministry, I thought, oh, I really miss it. But every time I meet somebody new, meet someone like Tani and, and FD or some of our partners, we just started a radio station in Baghdad with the partner there. Unbelievable. Right in Baghdad, Iraq. Are you hear um, from a Darfur. man from up in Estonia where uh, 262 men in prisons came to know Christ through the these Christian little fixed tune raised yeah. in prison? Oh, Who yeah. did that? The Lord did. Amen. Wow. And it's his ministry. Give God the glory for what he's done. Amen. Happy 20th anniversary okay. to Galcom. I know part of the celebration is the two of you traveling everywhere <laughs> and been, telling yeah. these wonderful stories. God bless you and keep Thank you strong. We serve a great God. Amen. Hey.